Good morning. Thank you for joining me at SittersForCritters.com. I am live in Las Vegas, and today is a special episode of uh, Dog Coccidia Pet Infections Causes and What Causes the Disease. I just wanted to have uh, just a quick look outside of my surroundings. Um, it is a beautiful view of the Las Vegas Strip. And I'm not out here to party or do anything. I'm actually out here for a networking event, which um, helps the professional pet sitter to better themselves as a business, professionally, personally. Um, and I just wanted to bring this special episode to just try to give you as much information as I can to just uh, educate you. And I think this will be a blast. So Coccidia is a microscopic um, bacteria or parasite or virus and they live in the intestines which breaks down the um, it's not a worm or anything it's uh, it damages intestinal walls inside of a dog so um, it should be treated by your veterinarian and um, is your family at risk Potentially, uh, coccidia is not zoonotic, so it doesn't. You're, it's not likely, or it will not actually transfer to humans. But if you have other animals in the house, it can potentially transfer and be problematic. Uh, how does the infection occur? Pets can be infected by just simply eating some dog shit outside. You know, sometimes that happens. They you know, they smell the dog shit outside and it might have the nutrients inside the food and they might pick up infected feces. So it could be contaminated potentially by other animals or rodents. So you want to make sure that these animals or your pets, beloved pets, are away from these, you know, habits outside. Consider, you know, just keeping the area clean. Um, how do you know if the pet is infected? You want to consider taking your pet as often to the vet as, as uh, possible. They have uh, fecal examinations and other tests that can determine that uh, versus other conditions. Uh, sometimes you might, uh, the pet might experience some um, weight loss or diarrhea or la loss of appetite or dehydration. So it's important to consider those uh, facts first before ruling other things out. All right, so two uh, fecal examinations per year that can help uh, determine that. Maybe some blood work, other, you know, some other things may be going on. Uh, how is coccidia treated, right? So if they're treated in a, a clinic, they can give it, they can be given uh, medicine that helps uh, significantly. Um, they can, uh, you know, long term, they could potentially be on medicine uh, and therapy options long term, which if, if you, you know, treat if effectively and quickly, you won't have the problem continue. So um, how are, you know, how can you protect your pets? Uh, schedule at least two times a year for fecal examinations, treat your pet immediately, and quickly clean up after your pet. And you can actually consider our services. Not only do we do dog walking, pet taxi, uh, house sitting, overnight care, and stuff like that. We have a pet waste removal service that, that can come to your home. And it's really affordable. And we can help you clean it up. So it's nice and short. It's short and sweet. And today I just wanted to thank you for joining me on SittersForCritters.com. And uh, I will enjoy the rest of my time in Vegas just learning about the animal industry to help serve you better. And I just wanted to thank you so much again. Thank you.